coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I'm a little excited. What's happening here? What's going on? Uh, we're not having a very good hair day today. I'm having sort of like a comb over situation occurring, but anyway. So, mm, this mug is awesome. This was a gift from a lovely subscriber named Sabrina. Hi, Sabrina! Um, I haven't stopped using it since I got it. In fact, when I opened it, I just, I washed it, made coffee, and I just, it's been in and out of rotation in my dishwasher. <laughs> it's so cute. It has mascara and um, lip gloss and lipstick all over it. I don't know. Plus, it's humongous, which is the perfect size for my coffee. Mmm. Anyway, today I'm here with a Get Ready With Me and uh, Crazy Hair. And uh, I thought we would use new products, sort of, kind of. Some new products, some not new products. Um, and I think that's it. Anything else that I need to tell you with this long introduction? Because, I mean, it wouldn't be a Danny video without a long introduction. So, I've had a lot of Urban Decay. Blah, blah, blah. I've had a lot of Urban Decay products sitting around that I've wanted to try and just haven't gotten around to it. So I feel like that's what we're gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna use the Naked Skin One and Done because it's literally one of the only foundations that matches me right now since I have a tan. You guys, I have a short tan. Like, who gets a short tan? I know I don't. Like, I never get a tan, any kind of tan. So, right now, I'm a little tan. Can you guys see my little chicken wing? It's a little golden. <laughs> it's a golden chicken wing. Uh, I don't think you need to use primer with this. I don't think. But I don't know. I do know, however, that I like using my um, Mineral Veil Primer. So, this has been a three minute introduction and I haven't done anything. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, just one pump because I have a really big face and one pump is way more than enough. Um, and so we're going to apply that. Look at that. Um, what do I want to talk to you guys about today? So believe it or not, this is me uh, recovering from a broken heart. <laughs> I have like many levels of um, emotion. They're all some degree of happiness. It's weird. Um, no, honestly, um, you guys know I've been getting very like personal in my vlogs with you guys, whether they're lifestyle vlogs or these Get Ready With Me vlogs. And I feel really comfortable um, talking about things like this because as alone as I feel sometimes discussing these issues, I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to it to some degree, whether you're going through it, you've been through it, or it's kind of imminent. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's tricky. I mean, I can't even remotely compare the two, like dating, um, dating before you ever got married and had kids with dating now that I'm divorced and have kids. It's like day and night, two different everything, you know, and it's so bizarre. It's taking me a little bit of getting used to, but you know. I'm going to apply this corrector that is mysteriously unlabeled and unmarked, and we're going to use this to cover up my panda eyes. <laughs> this is the Zoeva uh, Concealer Buffer. Now, this corrector is very creamy, so you want to use a very, very light hand with it, and you just want to apply it to the darkest portion of your evil panda eyes. Um, mine are extra panda e today because... I had one of those like dramatic, um, like movie chick flick type crying into a pillow last night. Um, I have, you know, usually I'm in a good mood and I, and I make that cognitive choice of, of being happy and, and just choosing to be happy because there's always something to be happy about. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you can, you can be mopey and sad and, and complain about all the stuff that you don't have or the guy that doesn't like you. But you could also invest that same amount of energy into focusing on what you do have and what is going right and what is awesome. So ever since I was little, I've had this like, I call it my superpower or rather my mom actually baptized it or christened it as my superpower because she says that, um, I have like a switch where um, if something is making me sad or affecting me, it'll affect me for just a short amount of time. And then I'll just make that choice where I'm like, I'm done. That's enough. 
get over it. You know what I mean? Like just stop. And so that happened to me yesterday because, you know, you get very disillusioned and you get your hopes up in when you meet someone or when you really like someone or stuff like that. And when you're not, you know, reciprocated with the same type of attention or affection or whatever it is, even if I'm, I mean, this isn't in any regard. Like if you're applying for a job or if you, um, I don't know, uh, are making a new friend and they're not making time for you or whatever. Um, it hurts your feelings, you know? It, it makes you feel like not important. Okay, so what I did is I took the Naked um, Skin One and Done and I'm gonna mix one drop of the Liquid Aura and I was told that you can do that. So Urban Decay has these two new products right now, the Velvetizer and the Liquid Aura. This one, <clears throat> excuse me, this one gives your foundations a matte velvet finish. So you mix the powder into the foundation, which is so weird, right? I haven't actually used it. You could also use it as a setting powder, which is what I'm gonna do. And then you could also take their illuminating um, mi mixing medium and add one drop. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, it's not even coming out. You take one drop and mix it into the one and done. And apparently it's like magic. I don't know about that because one drop doesn't seem like that much, but you know, we're hopeful over here. <laughs> we'll try anything seven times. Um, so yeah, yesterday was just one of those days, which is why my face is like all like puffy and swollen. Last night was one of those days where I was like, wah, wah, wah. no, things aren't going my way. Wah, wah, wah. You know what I mean? Like I was having like a pity party for myself. And then probably around one or 2 a.m., I had this like aha moment where I was like, bitch, you have your own house. You have a great job. Your kids are healthy. You're awesome. Your parents love you. You have a best friend that would literally like do anything for you. What are you complaining about? You know what I mean? <laughs> I just had one of those moments where I'm like, hey, look, it could be better, but it could certainly be a lot worse. So I just kind of snapped out of it and I figured, hey, you know what? There's plenty of fish in the sea. And I've always been one of those like firm believers in trusting God's timing. It's funny because you have like this whole elaborate plan in your in, in your mind of how your life is gonna work, like be married forever, <laughs> right? Um, and then, you know, God's like, just kidding. Uh, you forgot that I make the plans. You're just along for the ride. So, did you guys hear my voice? <laughs> when I blotted my neck, it's like, <laughs> yeah, so anyway. That's why my eyes are puffy, but today we're good. And we're actually vlogging today. We're not doing anything eventful because we have no social life or any semblance of it. Um, but yeah, I'm vlogging. I have to do some stuff around the house and you know, some home improvement type stuff. I do want to cook a little bit. I don't know how I got on this subject. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my foundation right now because I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do concealer, and I feel like recently either I've put on too much concealer, or it's not my color, or rather, because I'm tan. That's gonna, that's gonna be my excuse for everything, now that I'm tan. Um, so, I don't know what color to use at this point anymore. I feel like I might need to go buy um, different complexion products. You know, like darker ones, because <laughs> I'm tan. <laughs> Did I say I'm tan yet? <laughs> so I'm gonna use the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I was obsessed with this thing forever, and then I stopped using it for some reason. Um, oh yeah, that's right, because Shape Tape is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna apply some of that on the under eye, and hopefully there's enough of it where I could also use it as eyelid primer, because I don't wanna do a lot of extra steps today. Um, and my beauty blender, I actually was going to start filming this morning. It's four o'clock right now, by the way. So my beauty blender got dampened. Got dampened? Can you say that? Got dampened. I dampened my beauty blender. I dampened my beauty blender this morning and I just sat down to film right now and was like, you know what? YOLO. It better be damp enough because there's nothing worse. Okay, there's a lot of, there's plenty of worse things in life, but it's so awful to like sit down to do your makeup and then forget to dampen your beauty blender, right? Like, isn't that, isn't that like, 
really annoying. Okay, it's not the worst thing. It's one of those annoying things. Definitely need more concealer today, you guys. Look at that. Panda eyes are peeking out uncontrollably. What the heck? So I'm kind of excited to use that setting powder. Um, honestly, I haven't even opened it. It's still sealed, so it could potentially backfire really badly on us. Uh, it may not velvetize us <laughs> like it claims. So we'll see about that. Uh, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, you know what? I do have something I want to talk to you guys about because this is annoying some people. Um, a lot of uh, comments that I've been getting are like, oh my God, like, do you have anything else to talk about except dating? Of course, but I just feel like it's more exciting. You know what I mean? Like, it's more like, hey, girl time, let's talk about this stuff. I don't know. I just... It's what's current in my life. If there was something else that, you know, was major or exciting, obviously we'd be talking about that. Um, but, oh man, I can't open this. Oh, here we go. All right, so here's the velvetizer. Look at the packaging. It's like velvet on it. Um, well, that's cute. Um, yeah, so I've been getting a lot of comments like, oh my God, do you talk about anything else? Like, talk to us about, I'm like, about what? I'm uh, sure I'll talk to you about other stuff, but it's kind of what's exciting right now. <laughs> it's kind of what's current. So, and then with the whole match thing, how I worked with match and I was their crush of the month or whatever for June or May or whatever. Um, it's kind of like what the, what the hot topic in my life is right now, you know? So anyway, I hope it doesn't annoy you guys. Plus you guys have really good advice. You say really cool stuff when I talk about things, or like we can relate, or, or um, uh, I don't know, have that common ground or whatever. This powder is really special. Like, what is this? It feels like rice flour. Is it rice flour? Is there an ingredient list on here? What the heck? It didn't come in a box. It's a. It, it was a sample sent to me, so it didn't come in like the original packaging where they list ingredients. So, honestly, don't know what's in here, but it's super soft. Like, it feels like, um, it feels like rice flour. If you guys, you know, if you know what rice flour feels like, that's exactly what it feels like. It's so lightweight. Wow, that is nice. It's almost like sexy. Can a powder be sexy? Hmm. Well, this one is. Okay, so a couple of observations. If you guys had, um... Facial hair. I know a lot of us, us, me included, have like peach fuzz. If you have peach fuzz, it's going to be one of those unapologetic powders. And as translucent as it is, it is a little white. Um, you guys can tell. Obviously, once you apply your bronzer or whatever, it's going to camouflage. Or once your skin starts to breathe a little bit and some of that like facial oil comes to the surface, it'll, it'll, it'll be gone. The problem will be gone. But I do feel like it's one of those... Uh, very flowery type powders, although I kind of really like it. I mean, it feels really nice. So we'll see. By the end of this video, after I'm done talking for like 92 hours, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. Okay, now we're gonna do brows, and if you hear my phone vibrate, because I'm talking to my biferoni, um, and that's kind of important. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna use my hourglass eyebrow pencil, the arch brow. Do you guys remember how obsessed I was with this thing? I'm obsessed. I hate that word. <laughs> um, I haven't stopped using my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil for, I don't know, more than a year. It's three dollars, you guys. You can't beat that. This one is probably like 40, but I was really, 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 really in love with it for a long time. And then once I found the e.l.f. one, I was like, huh, no, sorry, $40 pencil. Is it $40? I don't remember. Anyway, so we're going to go in with this one. It's probably a little stiff. That's what she said. Uh, or he said, <laughs> gross. Anyway, um, yeah, I haven't used it in a while, so it's probably going to be a little, you know, rusty. Hey, look at that. Not so bad. So I want to do kind of a really dramatic, smoky, burnt orange type smoky eye. I got the new um, Urban Decay Naked Heat whatever palette. I am trying to not be judgy, you guys, because you know how I feel about eating crow. 
usually I get all judgy about new makeup products and then I end up loving them or I was right. So I'm trying to be like super open-minded until I actually get in there. I haven't even, I just, I literally just opened it. I haven't swatched it or anything. So I have no feedback as of this moment. Um, but you know, you know how you get your mind made up about certain things or whatever. So I'm just kind of like, I've kind of reached makeup collection fatigue. I feel like we should, we should name that. Like we should coin the phrase makeup collection fatigue or makeup release fatigue because at some point when does the customer say like whoa can we get a little break because uh i'm going in debt for makeup <laughs> you know um how much new makeup can they create i feel like we need a little breather like we're i don't know for me personally like i feel like i'm not getting to enjoy my oldies but goodies you know what i mean like I want that little breather, that little break, so that I can go through my stuff and kind of remember how much I like my Shade and Light palette or the peanut butter and jelly palette, et cetera, et cetera. We need like a little, just a little Gatorade break. You know what I'm saying? Like just a little, just a little Gatorade break. I love new collections and I love how um, uh, big the makeup industry has gotten thanks to social media and how just it's blown up and and I love what makeup does for me and how it's like my yoga blah 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 I love all that cool stuff but at some point it's like can a girl get a little break a little breaky break just a little just a little IV of hydration well I certainly forgot how much I love this brow pencil um man did you see how effortless that was uh, Glossier Boy Brow, oh crap, I just went in with a major smudge. Did I fix it? Oh, it's looking lumpy now. Um, I need to order this immediately. Like, I am so low on it, and it's really, really good, and I, I'm, I'm totally, totally in love with it. And uh, I don't know what to do without my Glossier, because I use this even on days where I don't fill in my brows, because I have microblading. Um, it's just... It's so nice. It doesn't make your eyebrows stiff like a lot of um, eyebrow gels. You know, a lot of eyebrow gels feel like a mousse or a gel or a hairspray for your eyebrow. And I don't have that much hair as it is. I just need the pigment and the, um, you know, I need it to hold down my four little eyebrow hairs. I think I have more eyebrow hairs than actual hair. <laughs> okay, this setting powder is giving me crepey eyes. Do you see that? Crepey. I learned that word just a few weeks ago. I was like, what does crepey mean? Like a, like a crepe? Because mama loves her crepes. But no, it's giving me... Doesn't it look like my under eyes look like they're linen? Anyway. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. First impression on this palette, you guys. Um, Look how pretty it is. Honestly, it's a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. So let's do what we normally do, which is go in with the light vanilla shade. And that is going to go on the all oh, holy shimmery color. Holy moly. I thought it was matte. Maybe I should pay closer attention or put on my glasses. Um, that is, that is shimmery. That, <laughs> It's a sparkly color. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Guess what we're doing after this? Nothing. Um, so it doesn't really matter. So we're going to put that underneath our bra bone. It's a lot of powder. Um, that's uh, It's picking up. That's nice. That totally sounded like I was being sarcastic. Like I was actually being... <laughs> I was being genuine. Um, how does that look? Okay, well, it's not too ostentatious, right? Which is nice. I honestly have always been a fan of like a shimmery brow bone, but I know that it's a trend that comes and goes. So I try not to overdo it because I'm usually out of trend anyway, or you know what I mean? Like, I'm usually the girl that's gonna be popping, like rocking pom poms like next summer as, as opposed to this one. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with my Delium Tools, no, my Sigma E55, um, and the color Sauced. That's this color right here, and that's going to be, holy man, that's a lot of powder. That's going to be our transition, 
and this this is gonna be like a really blown out smoky eye I probably shouldn't have done my foundation but we're just gonna hope and pray and hope again that it works so I want to do sort of one of those eye looks where I like bring up the color pretty high up considering how much retail space I have up there uh, <laughs> retail space real estate Considering how much real estate I have on my eyelids, uh, I could afford to go pretty high up. So that's the plan. We're going to go high. We're going to take that same color, but the Sigma E55, and we're going to run that on the lower lash line. And uh, try not to get that, <laughs> try not to highlight your panda eyes uh, as much as I am. Okay, now we're going to take, uh, let's take En Fuego, which is this color here, and I'm going to apply that almost like a halo eye, or rather, the intention is to apply it like a halo eye, which means on the first third and the outer third of your eyelid, so starting here. And then over here. Then you'll do the same thing on the other eye, outer third of the lid. I can never make my thirds match. Like one is always more encompassing than the other. It's hilarious. It makes my eyes look lopsided. In the inner third. Then I'm going to take that same um, color and the same brush and I'm going to go on the lower lash line but I'm not going to bring it as far down as the other color that we applied. Um, Sauced. For some reason that color reminds me of like wings. Like the, <laughs> the name of that color reminds me of wings. Um, kind of like a fun fact about Danny. I'm obsessed with chicken wings. I'm not obsessed with the word obsessed, <laughs> but I do love my chicken wings. Oh man, I love chicken wings, like Wingstop and Buffalo Wild Wings. And there's this place uh, in Chula Vista that I go to every time I go back home. It has these like, um, it's like a Chinese restaurant that they deep fry them and like garlic and just lots of garlic and sh oh my god they're so good <laughs> i want wings now now we're going to take a smaller blending brush like this one and i'm going to go with uh he devil first let's start off with this color and then we'll move into these darker shades um and i'm going to apply that on my crease uh just kind of intensify the color bring it up and it'll also um, help soften our crooked halos Okay, go in with that same blending brush, and now we're going to go back to um, En Fuego. I'm kind of leaning towards this darker plummy shade. Um, yeah, let's combine the two. I'm going to dip into both um, and apply that right into the crease, like literally the crease. Now on the lower lash line, we're going to go in with the darkest shade and we're going to go in as tight to the lash line as possible. Now for the center of the lid, I want it to be one of the metallic colors um, so it makes my eyes pop, but I can't decide. Wow, those look very similar. I think I'm going to go in with Scorched. It's like a rose garnet. Rose Garden. <laughs> nice one, Danny. Uh, just when you can't get uh, more creative with your descriptions, that's this color here. And I'm going to apply that on the center of the lid. I totally just dropped it all over my face. Can you see it? <laughs> Ay, Daniela. Okay, let's see. That is a soft shadow. 
My bad. And then take the littlest dab of Lumbre, that's this color here, just the littlest, and put that right in the middle, close to your lashes. I don't know, you guys, I kind of like it. It's like really dramatic. When I see myself in the other mirror, I'm like, whoa, hey there. Where are you going, lady of the night? Now I'm going to take a dark brown pencil and I'm going to apply that to the tight line and the waterline. I was going to go in with a black because I ran out of my favorite brown pencil and I just can't seem to find something similar to it. Um, the Jane eyeliner, the brown one, oh, you guys, that was my life. I ran out and I can't find it anymore. So I'm using this one from ColourPop, which you guys know how I feel about their liners. I like them, except when they fall out of the packaging and break. But typically, ordinarily, I like them. So I'm just tight lining and water lining with a chocolate brown pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with mascara, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do off camera just so I don't have to keep you much longer. So brown, tight line, water line, and mascara, and I'll be right back. You guys, this palette, do we need to talk about it? This, this palette. Oh, this palette. Anyway, let's uh, do the face. So for face, let's see. Do we, should we do like the same that we always do? Oh, you know what? I haven't used this one in a while and I really like this. This is the um, Avon Glow Light Bronze. It's a bronzer from Avon, <laughs> one of my favorites, which is weird. Um, but I can't, I just, oh, I love it so much. Anyway, Real Techniques Setting Brush. And we're going to carve out those fake cheekbones. Well, real, they exist. They just uh, can't really see them very well. So carve them out, carve them out. And then, does that work? worked right you know are they even I like how I talk to you guys like like you can answer me back I mean you can after the fact and then I'm gonna go in with another real techniques brush and they really need to sell this one on its own it's the multitask brush but it comes in a kit I don't know if you can even find it really anymore because I'm having a hard time finding these kits at Ulta anymore I wanted to get another one and I can't find it on the website maybe I was just having an off day Usually I can find everything. Um, yeah, so it does a really good job at like kind of blending things out really well. So if you guys hear loud crunching, you know the drill. It's dinner time over here at the Coffee Break household. And I have a poodle that eats really loud. How does that look? It's okay, not bad. Um, then, so, let's see, blush. I want to do yeah let's do this one this is um pretty naked from 100 pure um and we're just gonna do a little bit of this pretty naked <laughs> every time i say a little bit of something it never turns out so there's that oh that's nice i love this blush if you guys love like healthier cosmetics 100% pure has really cool stuff i need all their blushes like that's that's my mission Mission completion. What is that from? Octonauts? <laughs> um, I, uh, I need to have all their colors. Their blushes are amazing. So is their powder foundation. I have a review on the brand, which reminds me, I need to get back on this like natural beauty brand review. Do you guys remember when I was doing that? I think I did three or four videos where I take a brand, a natural brand, a uh, natural makeup brand, and I buy a bunch of their stuff and review it for you guys. And I was really enjoying doing that, especially now that I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious about the ingredients that are in my makeup. Um, then I'm going to go in with Fuel. This is one of the new colors that came with this heat collection. It's a cream finish. I don't know if I should do a lip liner. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to that. Uh-oh, uh I think this might be too light for me. Let's see. What do we think? It's a little pale for me, but we're gonna rock with it for now. And then I'm gonna go in with the Pixie and Aspen Ovard um, highlighter in Santorini Sunset. 
and my uh, baby brush. This is the Senna Baby Face Brush. And we're just going to apply some highlighter. I don't know. Product consensus. I don't like those illuminating drops mixed into the one and done. And I also don't like the velvetizing, velvet whatever powder. I don't like it as a setting powder. I'll definitely keep it so that I can mix it into an actual foundation to see what this velvet finish that it's talking about is. Um, but it doesn't seem promising. I feel like it, it doesn't, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. But this I like. Anyway, so that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. All of the products that I use will be listed in the description box below, along with a playlist of all the other Get Ready With Me's that I've done. They are just as long, and they are just full of tea as this one. Wait, was this one? I've literally taken like three hours to film this video. I've taken so many breaks, or it's taken me three hours to film this video. I've taken so many breaks, you guys. It's ridiculous. So many breaks. Anyway, I don't remember what we talked about at all, actually. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> anyway, you know what to do. If you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys!